Hello everyone, welcome to our pre-calculus pre-recording video. This is about a very brief introduction to trigonometry and we have a few uh, new things with this also. So let's look at the agenda. Well, first one is what is trigonometry, then trigonometric functions with right angles, measuring the angle using unit circle, trigonometric functions on the unit circle, find the exact value of trig, trig functions, find the exact value of trig expressions. So these are the agenda. And from this, actually, on unit circle, we have a uh, little extra discussion, which we will do in the next class also, because that's a little bit big topic, that's why. So let's start. Some of this actually you already know, the, what is trigonometry? Trigonometry is the study of angles and size of the triangles. So trigono, trigono, this is actually uh, indicating the triangle and metry is the measurement. So basically, uh, measurement of triangles from the name it comes. But of course, uh, a circle is also rigorously included in trigonometry in the modern trigonometric an analysis. But in the ancient world, uh, only the triangles was studied at the first. Okay, and this is the history, a little bit of history of the trigonometry. This is the uh, application of the trigonometry like we can use the trigonometry for finding the distance in the navigation astronomy engineering etc describing the behavior of the waves like sound uh, sound and light this is because like sine function cosine function tangent function they can actually describe the behavior of the waves so that's why uh, we can use it uh, in all these places trigonometry just to look a little bit extra on the history of the trigonometry Actually, the trigonometry, like the ancient uh, Babylonian civilization, Egyptian civilization, Sumerian civilization, so that people also used to have some basic understanding of the relationship between the triangle uh, and their uh, triangles and uh, measurement of, let's say, hypotenuse and the other uh, and the sides. So they used to have some sort of idea and uh, if you look at the Egyptian civilization in their pyramid, um, there must be some sort of understanding in terms of uh, uh, triangular measurement uh, because they, they have made such a big and giant structure without mathematics it is impossible. So uh, there must be some sort of uh, application of this. So they should have uh, had some uh, knowledge on that. Okay, then of course. Uh, without any doubt, Greek mathematicians and astronomers, they had a uh, very uh, good knowledge on uh, trigonometry. Of course, their trigonometry was definitely very different from the trigonometry that we use today because we use the modern trigonometry. Uh, modern trigonometry means we have a lot of uh, extra complications, uh, different, uh, different trigonometric functions we can use. Uh, the reason is, you see the sine function, cosine function, all these functions actually is not that old, okay. Just like in 6th sixth, sixth century, uh, Aryabhatta uh, actually invented the sine function, then the Arabian mathematicians uh, started using the other trigonometric functions. So eventually all the trigonometric functions came uh, all about 6th century, 7, 8, like that. Uh, that means before that, people did not have any idea about all these things. So from uh, the from the Greek civilization, all these things came to uh, more or less Indian subcontinent and then from India, then Arabic, Arabian world, from the Arabian world, then again back to Europe. And from the Newton, Euler, all these uh, giant mathematician, they actually started, um, uh, started what you call uh, modern trigonometry because all this extra uh, thing they started adding with the trigonometry. So that's a brief uh, introduction to history of the trigonometry. Uh, so just to uh, tell you that that this is not a very uh, completely new thing. Yeah. People used to have the idea about it long ago. Couple of things are new of course. Just like any branch of knowledge. Yeah. Just like any branch of knowledge. For example, if you look at the look at the biology this gene genetic study uh, genetic study or gene mutation this kind of thing is actually new okay so like that even if you look at some any other subject suppose in physics 
this uh, atomic uh, physics nuclear physics these are new thing but the other thing is people used to have the idea about uh, many other things uh, back in old age like this every, every like like uh, all other subjects like this so that's a little extra introduction let's look at the properties of the triangles so this is a right angle triangle very basic thing this is right angle triangle this is the height this is the base and 90 degree there is a 90 degree here that's why it is a right angle triangle and then this is just a triangle of irregular shape this is the height and this is the base of course if you draw up draw a, a perpendicular from this point on the base then we get the height same thing goes here so we get the height here the, interestingly for this triangle height is outside the triangle okay. we cannot draw a height here because height is the highest to lowest point and we can actually find out what is the area of the triangle area of the triangle is half into base into height uh, half into base into height we said that um, uh, you can actually try to understand it this half into base into height these things you can look from like this if it is a rectangle then the area of a rectangle is if it is length if it is breadth or width whatever you say the area of this rectangle is what is length into width length into width now you see if you draw a di diagonal in a rectangle actually this diagonal divide the uh, rectangle into two equal parts so this is a uh, triangle this is a triangle that means triangle is the half of the rectangle that's why area of the triangle area of this triangle that's why area of this triangle will be half of the whole thing okay so that's why area is half of uh, half of the half of the length into width or length into breadth length is the in this case length is the base okay so the base is here we can actually draw the draw that uh, draw that rectangle here see so we can draw that rectangle here okay so this way we can just uh, have a uh, similarity with, the, with them what is the sum of all angles of a triangle sum of all angles there is three angles this one this one and this one for all the triangles there will be always three angles inside it and they will be always 180 degree and if it is 90 degree this is called right angle as we said and the pythagorean theorem is uh, c square equal to a square plus b square uh, a b is the length of the sides and c is the length of the hypotenuse so we have uh, the pythagorean theorem which is c square equals to a square plus b square it, it, it actually means if you draw a square here of this uh, of this side length if you draw a square here if we draw a square here this is little uh, the figure will not be nice that's what so suppose if you try to draw a square here let's let's take, take the line okay suppose if we if we try to draw a square here this is not a square exactly just suppose that this is a square suppose if we draw a square we have a square okay then we can draw another square here on this line we can draw another square here on this line the line was a little bit longer so just to a square we have drawn this is kind of funny uh, the reason is suppose if you um, let's draw another square here to then then we'll discuss oh this is going outside the screen say let's say this is a square although none of them are perfectly square none of them are perfectly square suppose that this is a square this is a square and this is a square this is square is have the length uh, length side is c this is square this is square is length side b and this is square is length side a so this pythagorean theorem is interesting if you look at the what physically this uh, theorem means everyone can use it actually because there are some values like say if you put here three four five uh, then actually three square three square plus four square equal to five square suppose three square plus four square equals to 5 square 
or another example uh, is suppose 13 square equals to 12 square plus uh, 5 square 5 square plus 12 square so suppose if uh, this one and this one is given you can easily find out this one or if any two is given we can find out the other one so if we did that this calculation is easy actually but what is interesting is what does it mean is this it means that if you if you take a square here if you draw a square here of course it is in two, dim two dimensional shape but uh, just for imagining it if you draw a square here and then if you if you if you put some water if you fill this box with water water okay this this first one c square this c if you fill this box uh, with water then without uh, wasting any water from this box if you if you pour it here then this water will come down here and fill it up but you see this box is big this box is small so after filling up this box there will be enough water to exactly fill this box okay so if you draw a square here and if you pour some water here in this uh, square completely uh, fully we have to fill up this first square then this water will fill up this one and this one uh, uh, at the same time without without any remaining water there or any uh, required water there you know this water will exactly fill up this two square in other words if you take the water in this box and in this box then you uh, take both of the box and pour it here and then you will see that this water and this water will exactly fill up this this square in other so in simple words this is square plus this is square equals to this is square so this is what this pythagorean theorem means okay, physically pythagorean theorem is very elegant very important super important and because because it is like um, uh, if, if it is like a uh, potato in cooking you see potato you use potato you can use potato with 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 almost anything you cook so potato is something like that uh, I, at this at this point I cannot imagine anything where you cannot use potato <laughs> whatever you cook you can use the potato so Pythagorean theorem is something like that regardless of uh, which subject you are studying if you see a right angle you can use the Pythagorean theorem there okay so everywhere you can use this uh, uh, use this uh, Pythagorean theorem Pythagorean theorem is very important very elegant and uh, and to give you a solid example uh, that is even Pythagorean theorem is applicable in more than uh, three dimension in four five any uh, bigger dimension uh, where mathematicians nowadays mathematicians are working with uh, some higher dimension and everywhere Pythagorean theorem works uh, perfectly okay so although this uh, Pythagorean theorem is so old but it still it is young and fresh you know you can use it everywhere you know so this is really really amazing this is very elegant formula very simple but very you know powerful this is what we mean okay so let's uh, go to this place uh, trigonometric functions with uh, right angle so when right angle is uh, when we have a right angle and one angle given the first of all hypotenuse is uh, always the opposite side of the right angle let me draw it here this is the right angle this is the right angle and hypotenuse will always be the opposite side of uh, the right angle so hypotenuse will always be there and this will be adjacent the reason is this is the given angle so this is the given angle this side is with the hypotenuse and the given angle that's why this is called the adjacent and you see this is the given theta and this side is opposite to the given theta that's why this is called the opposite side now with these three uh, sides you can if you take the ratio suppose this divided by this this divided by this or this divided by this or even in the opposite way this divided by this what I mean is suppose opposite divided by adjacent you can write this way 
or you can write adjacent divided by opposite. You can write opposite divided by hypotenuse or hypotenuse divided by opposite. You can write adjacent divided by hypotenuse or hypotenuse divided by adjacent. So we can write in six different ways uh, all the three, all, all these uh, three sides uh, to express in terms of the ratio. And all these three sides actually have a specific name: sine, cosine, tan, tan, and then uh, three more. Three more is uh, three more is uh, cosec, sec, and cot. And they have their name. Sin theta is opposite divided by hypotenuse opposite divided by hypotenuse this is just some name okay opposite divided by hypotenuse okay let's give a name the name is this adjacent divided by hypotenuse let's give a name the name is this like that okay so sine function is basically the opposite divided by hypotenuse opposite divided by hypotenuse cosec function cosec theta function is this uh, adjacent divided by hypotenuse and tan function is this and this is the sine function Cosec function is reciprocal of the sine function. So, cosec function will be just like op this is opposite divided by hypotenuse. So, cosec will be hypotenuse divided by opposite. This is cos theta. Cos theta is adjacent divided by hypotenuse. And the uh, reciprocal is sec cos sec. Okay, cos cos theta sec theta. So, sec theta will be hypotenuse divided by adjacent. Just, uh, you know, you, you have to flip them. You have to flip them. And cot theta is... Uh, for cot theta, we have to flip the tan theta because tan uh, cot theta is one one over one over uh, tan theta. That's all. So this way you can express the ratio, and this is the six trigonometric ratios, six trigonometric functions. Later we will say sine, cosine, and tangent, cosec, sec, and cot. Very important. And we do not we do not have any more. There is just only that six because there is only six ratio, ratios here, as we said. So where we will use that uh, ratio that we learned, this is an example. Suppose a, a very uh, high building is here, skyscrapers is here, high building. And this angle, suppose this angle is known, this angle is let's say uh, 70, 73 degree and this distance is 50 meter, 50 meters and we have to find out the height. So you see when this angle is given 73 degree. And this distance is given uh, 50 meter. We, we have to find out the height. Then we can use the tan theta formula because tan theta formula means uh, op opposite divided by adjacent. This is the adjacent side. This is the opposite side. This is the hypotenuse. Oh, that is a very uh, uh, very nice uh, mnemonic. Let's let me go back. Let me go back and uh, tell you this suppose if anyone is new so that they can understand it uh, if you want to keep this formula all this formula in mind the mnemonic is this one is so s o all the first first uh, alphabet of these words so this is called so this c a h this is called ka c a h so ka And this is called T O A Toa T O A Soka Toa Soka Toa Soka Toa Soka Toa Soka Toa. So this way you can keep this formula in mind because you will need this formula many many times. So you should uh, you should know that know that. So let's go back. Let's let's go back. So we have to use the tan theta formula. Why? The reason is tan theta is related to adjacent and uh, opposite. Hmm. Why not? Suppose some students actually have the have hard time to use which formula sir we will use. Um, uh, answer is we have to use a formula which is related to the questions. Okay, the given question and information. So information is given 50 here, theta here, and find out this. So all these three things related formula is tan theta. Sine theta is related to this hypotenuse. Cos theta is also related to the hypotenuse. Sine theta is related to uh, hypotenuse and uh, opposite and cos theta is related to hypotenuse and adjacent but our math is related to this and this that's why tan theta formula then the other thing is super easy you just write the formula put the value and do the calculation tan theta from the calculator you put this value then h equals to do the um, uh, 
take it to the other sides and cross multiplication. So answer is 163 meters. The height of this tall building is 163 meters in this case. Yeah, we can suppose if this side is given, we can find out the other side. If that side is given, we can find out the other sides. Okay. Measuring angles. So, so we measure the angles. Uh, this is our initial side, and this is our terminal side. So, to produce an angle, suppose uh, you draw a line. This is the initial side. We say. Yeah. Then you draw another line and see, see, I am moving this like this. Then you, you make it, then this, this angle is formed. This angle is formed here. So this is the initial side, initial side, and this is the terminal side. This is the terminal side. And this is the formed angles. We can use alpha, beta, gamma, theta for uh, expressing the angles. Uh, any letter is uh, good usually most of the time we use the theta commonly used so initial side and then, then the terminal side always anti-clockwise we count it anti-clockwise this is the conventional way of measuring the angles conventional way of measuring the angles see we can actually uh, do it uh, full rotation full rotation to uh, to come back to the initial side initial initial side yeah. one full rotation we can give to come back to the initial side so this is how we measure the angles we count and take clockwise and take clockwise this is the properties of a circle circle the outer length outer measurement this is basic discussion that's why we are just we are just touching uh, most of the th things little bit little bit this is the circumference of the circle this is the diameter if the line goes uh, through the center of the so this is the center center of the circle from one side to the other side then this is called the diameter and half of the diameter is called the radius so this is the radius this is also radius and this is the radius for a circle all the radius are same all the radius is equal for the circle okay, all the radius is equal in length and if you yeah you can see diameter is the double of the radius so if radius is 2 diameter will be 4 if radius is 4 diameter will be 8 if radius is 5 diameter will be 10 okay so this is how diameter and the circumference yeah radi diameter and the circumference is uh, related or radius and the circumference is related to this formula c equals to 2 pi r or c equals to pi into d uh, pi times the diameter the circumference is pi times so the length of the circumference from here to here is pi times the diameter so pi into d is the uh, length of the length of the circumference that formula is also very uh, interesting and very elegant formula uh, measuring the angles using a circle so how can we uh, measure some angles using a circle as you can see we can uh, give our initial side and the terminal side then we can move it uh, around to get our to get our angles angles can be expressed uh, as a portion of a circle so angle can be measured in degree or in radians so we have two different types of uh, measurement for the angles one is uh, degrees another one is radians most of the time up until now most of the time you all uh, studied the angles uh, in the degree measurement system degree means like 90 degree 180 degree 270 degree 360 degree like that huh? 360 degree uh, but we will introduce a new system which is called radians radians is also another uh, way of measuring the angles so uh, so you see first of all when you have all this thing this place to this place is 90 degree this place to so you see the, we call it 90 degree this is 90 degree 1 2 3 4 5 6 like 90 180 270 360 total is 360 degree i have a fun question like why why it is 360 degree why not uh, suppose suppose if we say that this is uh, not 90 degree suppose we, if we say that this is 100 degree what is wrong with that like of course now it is wrong you cannot say it now i cannot say it now that this is 100 degree here 
I cannot say it now or you cannot say it now this is 200 but you see you see isn't it nice actually if you write 100 200 instead of 270 which is kind of what is this value all of a sudden 270 but just write here 0 100 200 300 400 suppose <laughs> suppose uh, we can give here right 0 100 200 and 300 and 400 isn't it better little bit why 90 180 270 and 360 um, this is a fun question uh, try to find out the answer and tell me during the class if you have any answer of this question why 90 180 like this so one uh, way of measuring the another way of measuring the angle is called the radian what is the radian radian is defined by uh, defined by the ratio of the ratio of the arc length divided by the radius arc length divided by the radius okay arc length this is the arc this place to this place is called the arc in this case this uh, arc is exactly the same length of arc same length of arc suppose if it is 2 meter this is also 2 meter so 2 divided by 2 equals to 1 radian 2 divided by 2 equals to 1 so 1 radian is defined by if equal length of arc uh, if the length of the arc and the length of the radius is equal then the angle subtended in the center is called the one radian let me give you the formula how to find it okay formula to find it find out is uh, how many radian here is length of this arc arc length arc length divided by divided by this radius okay this radius so suppose uh, we, are, we are interested to find out what is the how much radian we have around this whole circle how much radian we have here? answer is you see what is the what is the total length uh, in, in in this in the whole circle what is the total length here this is called circumference so what is the total circumference of this circle if the radius is r so total circumference this is the arc length so total circumference will be 2 pi r as you know circumference of a circle is 2 pi r and the radius is r so that means r and r cancel out so you have 2 pi that means inside a, a, a circle where in that in the in the in the degree measurement system system when you have total 360 degree in the radian measurement system you have the same thing as 2 pi this is this will be called as 2 pi radian Two pi radii, so uh, or, or uh, radians uh, like that. Uh, so that is the relationship. Two pi radians means three sixty degree. In the degree measurement, this is called three sixty degree. Then of course pi uh, pi radian means. Oh my God. So pi radian means I think I should uh, plug in my computer or else it will shut down then i will lose all this recording okay let me do this it will take uh, just just less than a minute yeah all good now so so pi radian and this is written here also okay i can show you show it from here or i can just write it so that uh, it looks like we are deriving so pi radian equals to you divide both side by 2 so you have 180 degree this is a formula kind of suppose if you want to convert like suppose if i say 60 degree equals to how many radian 60 degree equals to how many radian so you can use this formula to find out how many radian so 180 degree equals to pi so 60 equals to what see 180 equals to pi 60 equals to pi divided by pi divided by 180 
let's let's write it here. 180 equals to pi. So 1 equals to pi divided by 180. And 60 equals to 60 equals to this into 60. This into there is no space there. 60. So this and this cancel out. Then this and this cancel out. You have 3. So this equals to pi by 3. So that means 60 degree means pi by 3 radians. So so pi by 3 radians. So this is how we convert it. One form to another form. This is how we convert it. And in this case, this pi, in this case, this pi is 3.1416. Now, when you put here pi like this, this will be 3.1416. Because in the, in this uh, circumference of the circle, uh, 2 pi r, in that case, pi is 3.1415 like that. So, this is the relationship between uh, radians and degree. And most of the maths uh, that you will do in calculus is, the maths will be in radians so uh, you all uh, need to be a little bit uh, used to with using this uh, radian angles uh, from now on and in our maths also you will see uh, in many times we will be using this uh, radian angles and okay let me tell you another interesting thing just like just like the thing that i said that why this uh, angle is 360 degree uh, 360 degree uh, or we ask this question uh, to find it out another interesting thing about this is do you know this um, if someone come from some alien comes in the world now uh, in on earth now if some alien comes and if you if you give them this uh, circle and if you uh, let them study this circle they will never figure out or the chances of figuring out uh, the whole thing is 360 degree is very less. They will not figure it out this way. They will not understand it this way because um, this is not intuitive. There is no uh, strong logical basis of this kind of system. But they will actually come to this decision. Because regardless of how much length you take, Suppose if you take 5, you take 6, you could take 10, you take 10 here and you take 10 here, then you then the angle will be inside angle will be 1 radian always. So it will match with everything. It will match with everything. If they can figure out that the whole thing is 2 pi r, then the re remaining thing is super easy to calculate. Okay. But this system, they will not figure it out. Unless or until someone from our class go to uh, the alien and tell them that hey do you know the this whole thing is called 360 degree this is 90 degree this box this box is 90 this box is 90 degree this box is 90 degree if you tell them this way then they will know or else uh, the alien will never figure out this figure they will figure out this figure first because this comes logically this figure comes logically all right trigonometry functions on the unit circle so unit circle is a circle which has radius equals to one unit so this is one unit this is called a unit circle a radius is one unit so everywhere it is one okay and if it is a radius is one unit you see there is a there is a there is a right angle triangle everywhere see so we can draw a millions of right angle triangle like this Look at this, this is beautiful. So we can draw a millions of right angle triangle like this. Let's, uh, let's uh, uh, keep the right angle from a place. Suppose this is our right angle. Uh, from this position. Yep, from this position. <laughs> okay, suppose we took this right angle from this position. We can actually prove for any position so you have this right angle here and this is one so from the pythagorean theorem we know that this is square plus plus this is square will be equal to this is square so one is square equal to one that means for a unit circle x square plus y square equal to one okay so it's very easy to find out 
this very simple figure is actually uh, very useful in understanding many things in trigonometry. You will see that in a while. So, uh, once again, look, this is a unit circle. Why? Because the radius is 1. If the radius is 1, that means it is a unit circle. Radius is 1, it is unit circle. Radius is 2, it is not unit circle. Unit means 1. Okay, unit circle. Unit doesn't mean one. Um, doesn't mean one. In this case, unit is unit circle means one. Uh, radius is one. Suppose if we say that the unit of uh, kilogram is a uh, unit of unit of uh, uh, mass is kilogram, or if we say that unit of length is meter. So in that case, that they means uh, unit means one one uh, uh, one meter or one kg. Okay, um, like that. So unit circle means one radius. We can go on actually. That's what I was thinking at the time. Unit circle means one radius. One radius is one unit. One unit means what? One unit means what? One unit means you can say that this is centimeter or meter or kilometer, whatever it is. It doesn't matter. It will match. If the value is one, it will match. You can write here centimeter, one centimeter, two centimeter, or two uh, not two kilo, two centimeter, one centimeter, or one meter, or one kilometer, one. Then it will be unit circle. Okay. So why it is important is the reason is this is the x. See this is the x, and this is the y. But you see, you see we can find out uh, from our uh, trigonometric ratio six trigonometric ratio we can find out. Um, what is cos theta here? What is sin theta here? What is tan theta here? You can give a try. What will be the from this triangle? What is sin theta? Or what is cos theta? Or what is tan theta? See, sin theta is y divided by 1. Y means the opposite divided by hypotenuse. So y divided by 1. In other words, sin theta means y. Similarly, cos theta will be x because cos theta means base divided by hypotenuse. So, cos theta is 1. And tan theta is of course sin theta divided by cos theta. So, that means y by x. Now, interestingly, one very amazing thing happened here. And that is, in a unit circle, this x actually represent cos theta. So, in a unit circle, this first value is cos theta. Oh, I have straight line here. This first value is cos theta. This is on a unit circle. Remember, it, it is only true for the unit circle. So, first one is, of course, we have technique for other circle also. We can convert it. So, first one is cos theta because you see cos theta is x and we get it from our ratio and second one is sin theta. Okay, first one is sin, cos theta, second one is sin theta. Then you can move on and move on. You can draw this circle anywhere, and you will always see the radius is one, and this is x, this is y. You can, you will always find it this way. And tan theta is what? Tan theta is what? You see, tan theta is y divided by x. Why is this? And this is yeah. Why is uh, the why is the uh, in this case you can say the height, and this is the base, or this is. Uh, opposite this is adjacent so adjacent is this one and opposite is this one so see see it is matching with some another interesting thing and that is what is called the slope what is the slope of this line what is the slope of this line if you consider it as a, as a, as a inclined line what is the slope of this line the slope of this line is the rise divided by the run in our pre-calculus uh, level one, first class, uh, or yes, first class uh, is a distance and midpoint formula like that, and then uh, in first one, two class, uh, the main one good thing comes what, that is like slope is what this thing comes at the beginning of our uh, pre-calculus lesson, or in this first semester, first week class kind of slope. Slope means rise divided by run.
rise divided by run. So what is rise divided by run? You can say the rise is C. This is the rise. Rise means when you stand up, this is rise. And when you sleep, this is kind of run. Or when you run, you see you walk and you run. You are running on the ground. So ground is the X. So ground is the X. And rise is the Y. So rise is the Y. Because it is kind of going uh, to the sky. Although there is not, nothing like a sky. So anyway, so rise is y, run is x. So this is what? This is the slope. But you see, this is the same thing. This is the same thing. y divided by x, y divided by x. And this is tan theta. In other words, so we can make a decision. And that decision is this tan theta actually means the slope of this line. So, this tan theta actually means the slope of this line. Okay. So, let's recap. Sin theta means the height. Sin theta gives us the height value. Cos theta gives us the uh, adjacent value. And tan theta actually gives us the slope of the line. Okay. The ratio of the line. And the other value we can just uh, directly find out because sin theta reciprocal is cosec theta cos theta reciprocal is uh, sec theta, tan theta reciprocal is cot theta. That means you have to just split them. This is uh, suppose y, next one will be 1 by y. This is x, next one will be 1 by x, like that. Uh, if you know this first three, then it automatically the other three will come. Because if you just split these three, you will get their consecutive uh, other one. So this is the decision. First one is cos theta, this one is sin theta, the other one is uh, ratio is uh, tan theta. And now you see, as I said, this is only true when the circle is, uh, the radius of the circle is 1. But what if the radius of the circle is not 1? Suppose it is 2, it is 2. Then, the, then the technique is very simple. You just multiply sin theta and cos theta by 2. You write here 2, you write here 2. Finished. Okay, you write here 2, you write here 2. You will get your answer. Okay, suppose if the radius is 4, then you have to write here 4 cos theta and 4 sin theta. That's it. So, for a larger triangle, multiply by the hypotenuse. Now, find the exact values of the trigonometric function. This is a kind of classwork. We will try to do this maths in during the class. But uh, if uh, anyone want to practice, we can just directly tell you. This first one is, uh, as, as you uh, know from the discussion, since this is a unit circle, it is written here, unit circle. So, you know the first, theta, first one is sin theta or cos theta. First one. Oh my god, this looks like I have class, I have students. Actually, this is pre-recording and there is no student. Anyway, so first one is sin theta or cos theta. First, first one is cos theta. So that means you will write, this is t, so you will write cos t equals to half and the sin t equals to minus root 3 by 2. From sin and cos, you, you can find out tan from the formula. Then from sin cos tan, we can find out cos x second cot. So this, we will try to practice it. Okay. Yeah. These are the common value of a trigonometric function. Some trigonometric function, suppose, uh, suppose uh, sine 30 degree equals to what, uh, cosine 30 degree equals to what, and tan 30 degree equals to what, like that. So, sin, yeah, sine all angles, uh, cosine, I mean, most common value, okay, common value. Sine uh, 0 degree means 0, sine uh, 30 degree means 1 by 2, sine 45 means root 2 by 2. You can write root, uh, you can write root 2 by 2 or 1 by root 2, both is correct. Sine 60 means root 3 by 2, 90 means 1. And these are just flips uh, in the other sides. So, and for cosine is opposite, for tangent it is 0, 1 by root 3, 1 root 3 and not defined like that. We can use this common value to find out the exact value of some trigonometric functions, we can use this common value. And in our uh, future class, I will uh, try to, we will try to find out uh, some of the values from here, uh, from the unit circle uh, by analysis, um, uh, by, by analyzing the math, some methods, okay, or by analyzing the figures. 
or in other words, uh, in some analytical way, we'll try to find out some uh, values from here. But uh, I, I, I mean, how from where this value comes, we can actually prove it. Okay. So in some future class, we will try to prove it. But for this, uh, uh, for the for the first time, we can just try to see how they behave. Okay, or how they they are used in uh, mathematics. So this is the table that we all should know for quick calculations for finding the exact value. Normally in the exam this table will be given. So if you don't like to memorize it, this is fine. But uh, this is uh, also good to have them in mind. This is always good to have them in mind. And there are some technique also. How can you find out? How can you uh, keep them in mind? There are some technique also. Let me show you the technique a little bit. You see, see this box and this box is actually same below. They are the same below but in opposite order. Zero comes first here, zero comes last here. This value comes second here, this value comes second last here. This value comes here, this value comes here and this value goes there, this value goes there and this value is last here, this value is first here. So if you keep one line in mind, same goes here. If you keep this line in mind, then actually you can find out this line very easily. Okay. And for this line, this first two box is actually enough. Other, other boxes comes uh, yeah, pretty intuitively. This is 0. This is uh, root 3. Root 3 means actually 1 by root 3. This way also you can understand. This is actually uh, rationalized. Am I taking too long? Almost, but it's okay, I think. This is the first uh, lesson, so I'm just uh, going over most of the topics with a little bit extra time. But in future, if needed, we'll make our video a little bit short. Um, okay. So, if you just keep uh, this first two in mind, then actually other things will come automatically. This is 0, this is uh, 1 by root 3. So, C, then 1, then root 3. So, 0, 1 by root 3, then 1, then root 3. 1 means 45 degree, root 3 means 60 degree, this is 10 below. So 10, uh, 10 0 degree means 0, 10 30 degree means 1 by root 3, 10 45 degree means 1, 10 uh, 60 degree means root 3, and 10 90 degree is undefined because uh, 10 90 degree means sin theta divided by cos theta, so sin theta is 1, cos theta is, cos theta is, uh, cos theta is 0, anything divided by 0 is not defined. Also you see, also you see, if you know Technically, if you only know this box, you can find out everything by calculation because this tan theta means sin theta divided by cos theta. So, this sin divided by this sin is this. Okay. 0 divided by 1 equal to 0. Then 1 by 2 divided by root 3 by 2 equals to this actually. Then root 2 by 2 divided by root 2 by 2 equals to 1. Then root 3 by 2 divided by 1 by 2 equals to root 3. Let me show you from the calculation. Let me show you one value. This is root 3 by 2. Then divided by this. So when you when you uh, uh, multiply, change the division by a multiplication, then actually this thing will flip. That means 1 was in the up, 1 will come down, 2 was in the down, so 2 will go up. So this and this cancel out, you have root 3 here. So from this one and this one, you can calculate it. This is how you can keep it in mind. This is how you can keep it in mind. And there is a there is a technique for uh, for keeping this line also in mind. If you just write just simple 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Do you know this? This is uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Everyone knows this, right? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Everyone knows this. So you divide all of them by 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, so what we have done, we have done, we have divided 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, we have divided all of them 4 by 4, now take the square root of everything, this one is square root, 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 and this one is also square root. Now see, actually we have found the value of, uh, this one is sin 0 degree, 
value this is the sign uh, 30 degree this is sign 45 degree value serially everything came serially then the 60 degree value this is 90 degree value so you see from 0 1 to 3 4 you actually get all these value see they will match this line will match with this one so this way also you can keep it in mind and there are all these ways all these techniques to keep it in mind all right, so now we will see where we will apply it. We will try to do more maths from here in the class. Uh, let me show you some. Well, let me show you one, two maths from here. Suppose uh, this first one, sine 45 degree and cos 60 degree. How to do this maths? See, do not use a calculator. It means you have to use the that 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 chart uh, for the calculation. The sine 45 degree means one by root two or root two by two. So this is sine 45 degree. Cos 60 degree means 1 by 2 and if you do the LCM 2 is here then this will be root 2 plus 1 this is the answer okay suppose if we try to do this one if we try to do this one then it is cosec 45 degree so cosec 45 degree is uh, 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 we do not uh, have this value directly but we have the value of sine 45 degree sine 45 degree value is uh, root 2 by 2 or 1 by root 2 sine 45 degree value is this so cosec 45 degree is just flip of sine so it will be 2 by root 2 sin 40, 45 degree means root 2 by 2 so cosec 45 degree will be root 2 by 2 by root 2 opposite uh, reciprocal let me write it here sin and cosec they are reciprocal and if sin value is suppose if sin value is a divided by b cos value will be b divided by a okay this is what uh, uh, we mean by this and cos sec is uh, reciprocal tan cot is reciprocal so this is tan 60 degree and from our table we know that uh, tan 60 degree means root 3 in between there is no uh, there is nothing so it is multiplication so now we can write 2 into root 3 divided by root 2 but you see you see uh, people do not like people uh, do not like a root sign in the denominator no one like nobody like it okay so that's why we have to multiply both numerator and denominator by root 2 so that our denominator downside is rationalized so this is 2 into this color is uh, not uh, let's take just black color directly so this is 2 into root 2 and root uh, root 3 into root 2 so see here we have root here we have root so we can just simply write here root 6 and root 2 into root 2 if you multiply them then it is root 2 whole square hmm. root 2 whole square means only 2 in other words in other words any full number you can write uh, by product of its root let me explain it 3 means root 3 into root 3 okay you can write it this way 5 means root 5 into root 5 okay so here you have root 2 into root 2 root 2 into root 2 means uh, 2 now why we have written it like this the reason you see there is no root now down here in our first line there was a root down here now there is no root here also moreover we can cancel out this two and two this two then our answer is six and this is the final answer okay this way we can calculate all other maths and this pi by two pi by two means 90 degree pi by two this is also 90 degree this is pi by three pi means 180 degree this means 180 so you can do some calculation that means it is 60 degree and this is 45 degree so you can uh, do the math this way let me prove it why 
uh, some people may have this question like uh, why 3 equal to root 3 into root 3 how do we know that or what is the logical basis of this this will be last proof actually and uh, the reason is you see 3 root 3 means 3 to the power half and then there is another root 3 which means also 3 to the power half so you see half and half it means 1 so it means 3 to the power half plus half that means 1 that means 3 so this actually is to the power half means root to the power half means root so you see uh, root 3 into root 3 ultimately goes to 3 same goes for 2 root 2 into root 2 ultimately it becomes 2 all right so we'll try to do solve this maths uh, from here you know in in the class during the class time also feel free to try to solve some maths from here or if possible solve all the maths from here this is good this is not homework exactly this is a practice math so you should do it for practice and more practice maths are written here try to uh, give a try to solve them all right uh, these are practice math these are like practice homework so you will not have to submit this work you will just have to practice it okay and if you face any difficulty if you face any problems if you come across with any questions uh, of course you can ask that thing during the class all right i think that's all for the for today uh, thank you all. thank you very much for taking this long time and uh, watching the video and coming uh, up to this point uh, have a good day and see you all in the class bye bye yeah this is uh, 206 am that means it's almost midnight here anyway uh, uh, thank you very much. Okay, see you all in the class. Bye-bye.